Hello! Thank you for joining us for Engineering at Home. This week's project is a newspaper fort. This one will take some patience, and I definitely recommend working with a family member if you can, especially when we get to construction. There are a lot of structures you can make with the basic materials we'll use today, but here's what we'll be making in this video. And now, let's get to work! As always, step one is to gather your materials. The materials we'll need today are 72 sheets of old newspaper, tape, string, a stapler, and as an alternative if you don't have a stapler at home, a single hole punch. Step two is to roll our newspaper into rods. Take two sheets at a time and roll them diagonally. Once you reach the end, use an inch or two of tape to secure it. Repeat this 35 more times until you have 36 rods total. Step 2.5 is to wash your hands. After rolling up 36 newspaper rods, they're probably pretty dirty. For step three, we'll be either stapling, taping, or tying three rods at a time into a triangle shape. And we'll repeat this until we have 12 triangles total. If you have a stapler, I recommend using method one and stapling the three corners of your triangles together. Taking two rods at a time, flatten the ends and staple them together. If you don't have a stapler, you can either use method 2 or 3. For method 2, take two rods at a time, flatten the ends, and tape them together. For method 3, if you have a single hole punch, you can take two rods at a time, flatten the ends, punch a hole through both rods, and tie them together with a string. Whichever method you use, repeat this until you have 12 triangles total. Step four is to tape or tie eight triangles together into the pattern you see below to form our sides. You can see that the triangles alternate between pointing up and down. Whether you're using tape or string, secure each side together with two ties, one at the top and one at the bottom. These eight triangles will form our sides. Once you've connected all eight triangles into the pattern you see next to letter B, you can stand them up and bring the two ends together as you can see next to the letter C and in the following video. Secure the two ends of your wall again with two ties, one at the top and one at the bottom. Step five is to tape or tie four triangles together into the pattern you see below to form our roof. Just as we did with the sides, connect the triangles together with two ties. For the roof, all four triangles are going to end up pointing the same direction, up. 
Once you add the fourth triangle, you can connect it to your first, forming the pyramid shape of your roof. Step six is to attach your roof to the sides. To do this, line up the four corners of your sides with the four corners of your roof and use tape or string to connect each corner twice. Finally, step seven is to have fun in your fort. Decorate it, add a sheet, and enjoy your new cozy place. Thanks again for following along with this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.